The formula of effecting reforms at the board charged with overseeing elections in the country remains divisive with antagonists in the debate maintaining their hardline stances. IEBC ibadilishwe leo ibadilishwe kesho kama code hawata kujipanga kutafuta kura kwa raia na hata tuchukue mtoto wa raia akue ndio IEBC kura sikimalizika ataambia mtoto yake umeinibia kura we want reforms in the judiciary immediately because a collapse of the judiciary system and chaos being brought by Raila Odinga through IEBC will burn this country. We don't want to burn this country. Mimi sina kanyengine nitaenda. Sunday and Deputy President William Ruto who was in his home county of Wasingeshu maintained the government stand regarding court's call for dialogue. Tumewaambia wenzetu hawa wa upande ule mwingine ambao tunashindana na wao tumekubali ya kwamba hii Kenya tulipitisha katiba mpya na tulipitisha katiba mpya ili mambo ya kuendesha taifa letu la Kenya isiwe ni kwa sababu mtu fulani anapenda ama hapendi ni kwa sababu ya mahitaji ama matakwa ya mtu fulani iwe inapangwa kulingana na vile katiba na sheria inavyosema it doesn't matter what you like what you don't like it doesn't matter which institution you have a problem with you must respect the constitution of Kenya if we have to remain a nation otherwise we will go back to the personality cults and to the whims of individuals or groups Ruto appeared to ignore the 10 day ultimatum issued by court when they suspended anti IBC demos insisting the government is committed in respecting the rule of law the deputy president also assured Kenyans that the next year's general elections will be free, fair and peaceful. Mimi nauliza. Hawa ndugu zetu wanatuambia ya kwamba wako na shida na IBC. Wako na shida na mahakama. Wako na shida na bunge. Wako na shida na Kenya Human Rights Commission. Sasa tunawauliza kweli wao wanaamini kitu chochote kwenye katiba. Kama uko na shida you have a problem with all institutions set up by the constitution. We want to tell our country that there will be no violence again in our country. The next election will be peaceful, will be fair, will be transparent. And most important, it will be peaceful. That Ruto's remarks coming as court leader Raila Odinga maintained that no free, fair and peaceful elections can be conducted by the current IBC team. Government will talk to us and say there's need for a dialogue. There's need for a dialogue in this country and you help yourself and agree to dialogue. And I told him that I have been for dialogue for the last two years. I wrote to the president and asked him, my brother, let us sit down and talk so that we can find solution to this major challenge facing our country. I was blamed on the same talk these people are looking for Ms. Mukati. And they don't even need Ms. Mukati. Speaking at ACK Mombasa Memorial Cathedral, the opposition leader pressured the government to embrace dialogue and reforms in the electoral body ahead of the next year's general elections. Kevin Washira, Channel 1 News.